Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free to play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to showcase how long range warfare works uh, in a war situation. Uh, the gameplay of the Call of Dragons is one of the best Kingdom Builder games I have ever seen, especially the combat. So this is my build, I still don't have Outbreak of War to unlock the suppressive fire. So I will showcase how my seasonal talents are working in action and let's check how it will end up, how much merits we are going to get. The power difference between two alliances are uh, pretty same, uh, which means it's a best moment for us to see how in general long range warfare is working. Of course, my main idea is not to get hit by the enemy and to deal as much damage as possible, which we are going to do for sure. Uh, the most important is merits, uh, whenever we are speaking about fighting enemies, and of course I will check the reports uh, whenever all of my legions will be gone, uh, and it will be like most perfect time to understand how in general long range warfare works. Uh, currently I'm running four uh, marksman legions, uh, which are Nico and Kinara, that's my best legion, uh, which I have invested all of my uh, legendary tokens, the hero Kinara, uh, and uh, of course I have Syndrome and Fragar. Um Syndrome I got from the season ending rewards like two seasons ago, uh, which I'm super happy about it because that's one of the best uh, marksman heroes in the game currently. Uh, the third marksman uh, legion is uh, Thea and Craig, uh, that's why I changed to Wilderberg in order for me to just try how in general uh, Wyverns work, which I'm again pretty happy about it. And of course, uh, I'm running one mage legion, which is Walder and Welin. I'm 100% free to play player, I need to mention it. Uh, and yeah, let's see how much merits we are going to get out of this fight, which will be uh, very, very interesting. Unfortunately, I think I kind of hit the uh, Darkling, which I hope won't gonna chase me until the end. Uh, enemy is running, uh, running Rally, which I won't be able to hit. I'm not going to hit this Rally, let it like destroy by itself. And in the end, let's see how much merits we are going to get out of this fight. I currently have amazing position, uh, we are freely hitting the enemy, and I think we are dealing quite a lot of damage, uh, which is amazing, and I think we are going to get a lot of merits out of this fight. Let's see, uh, let's double check uh, how much merits are we going to get whenever all of my legions will die. Uh, that will be the time whenever I will be checking the uh, merits of my legions. Currently I think we are doing absolutely fine because it's been a while since I'm alive and yet yeah, rally is broken I'm going to attack all of the enemies uh, and of course this is a great opportunity to use the artifacts we are currently using uh, simply because I'm not sure if we're gonna have a better chance to use the artifacts because um, as you already know, for the long range warfare, we are getting additional range, but we are not getting additional range for our artifacts. Yep, the rally is destroyed. We, may, we were able to destroy every single uh, enemy members. <clears throat> and our legions are still alive, which is the most important. Uh, let's try to destroy these guys because they are sneakily attacking us. Um, as you can see, my army is pretty low, uh, but still I'm not going to check the merit score uh, of the every single legion because I always do this thing, like whenever my legions like did everything what they could, that's the only time I'm going to check the merits of, from this game. Uh, I think we're gonna get more than 10,000 merits out of every single legion which we are currently have, and I think that's amazing. Uh, or a free-to-play player, like this is the best time to check how you in general look looking uh, as a strength uh, because whenever you are fighting against only tier 5 players it's impossible for you to understand how much damage you generally have uh, for your from your legions 
Yeah, I understand I'm hitting the builders, but uh, that's the best thing right now because our main objective is to not let enemy destroy uh, our not le not let enemy to build uh, our their fort because that's the best way to defend uh, in this game. And yeah, finally my legions are gone, and it, it will be a perfect time for me to check. Uh, generally how much merits I am getting, uh, let's double check uh, the reports right now. As you can see my uh, hospital is pretty full, uh, it will be hard for me to uh, empty the hospital like in a quicker way, but right now we are checking why you guys came um, to watch this video, 29,000 merits from the Nico and Kinara Legion, which is amazing if you ask me for a free to play player. 20,000 merits for the major play for the major Legion, Walder and Wellin. My Walder is awakened and Wellin is normal free to play, uh, like Wellin. Sindron and Fragar, both of them are 5111 heroes. That you can see how much merits is here, and like, trust me, that's not even a lot. Uh, if I was more careful, I would have gotten more and more merits. And the Thea and Craig, my weakest uh, legion currently, because my Thea is not that good. Uh, 24,000, and that's the gameplay I'm playing, that's the style I'm playing for three marksman legions and one mage. Uh, the seasonal talents are like this, of course I'm going to have a suppressive fire, and in the end I'm going to go for breaching strike. Uh, I think these merits are amazing, uh, and I think I had a, if I was a little bit more cautious, I would be able to have even more. Uh, I will try to go for a, another round uh, because why not? Uh, like I understand uh, my marches won't be full, but whenever there is a chance for you to get. Uh, merits out of this game you are 100% going to do that because in general in this game uh, you, like whenever new season starts you have a lot of time to form uh, you need like at least one month in order to go to the second pass and whenever you cross the second pass that's the timing when <clears throat> you are going to have a big fights uh, like as you as you can see here I see a lot of uh, merits uh, and the Thankfully, but uh, simply because of the long range warfare, I will have enough range uh, in order for me to get a lot of merits out of this fight. Currently, I have almost 1 million merits uh, in season TI, which is a great, great news, especially for a free to play player like me. Um, I don't have in a, even a Lilia uh, currently. Uh, that it means that I have not even spent the $1 in this game. Uh, that's my gameplay, that's why I build uh, this YouTube channel, in order for me to showcase you guys that even if you are not spending any money in this game, you are going to have absolutely amazing fun, because like combat, uh, which we can see in Call of Dragons, is one of the best in any Kingdom Builder games uh, we are having on the mar in the market right now. The Rise of Kingdoms is the oldest and the most popular Kingdom Builder games, but they don't have the combat experience like Call of Dragons. Finally, my legions are here, and unfortunately I don't have enough Alliance members online to help me to do this small push, but I will try my best to work with what I have. Uh, let's wait for a couple of seconds and let's see how much damage and how much merits we are going to get from the second push. The first push was amazing, you already saw the report of the first uh, four legions merit scores and let's double check again if you missed the report section. Uh, this is the merits we got from this fight, which is a great great amount of merits for a free to play player. Finally we are here, like I just don't want to be the first one uh, which will push, um, I guess the Carrasco wanted to bring the enemy here, uh, maybe I will, I will just get a better position in order for me to deal damage, and yeah they are moving up, uh, whenever they are moving up that's the best way for a marksman to deal some damage, uh, and mages that's like... Mm, a food for a marksman players, they are having a lot of 
uh, damage from us uh, dealt. Let's see if I will be able to hit this guy. I guess I was able to do that. And I'm going to do it. Uh, I think he is AFK. Yeah, maybe this uh, Phoenix Eye will be great. You should all always remember how much nearby legions your artifact is going to hit and play around it. Uh, that's why, uh, as I remember correctly, a Phoenix Eye has a 4 uh, nearby legion damage. Uh, that's why I always try my best to use this artifact as perfectly as possible. Uh, I wish they would be pushing for us right now, but yeah, this is this video is all about gameplay of the Call of Dragons, and I think I'm trying my best to show, showcase that section of this uh, game. Like I will repeat again, I fell in love in this game uh, simply because of the gameplay and how well designed it is. Uh, like it's pretty visible like you can see what you are doing it's not like icons like you just click and the wait what what happens you can actually play you can actually have your own strategy if you will understand how game like works in a proper way uh, i wish the enemy was pushing us a little bit more i guess we are the ones who needs to be pushing that's why i will try my best to kill as much builders as possible and of course, if I will see some enemies moving to our side, I will fall back in order to don't get targeted, because whenever you get targeted, it means you are receiving some damage. Uh, how you can generally get more merits out of this game is pretty simple. Try to stay alive as much as possible. Well, I understand it's not easy whenever you are fighting against tier 5 players, because against tier 5 players, your main objective is to not get targeted. Because you are generally going to get destroyed in a couple of seconds. Right now we are fighting tier 4 against tier 4. Which is amazing. Uh, because that's the opportunity to uh, showcase the strengths and the like uh, gameplay you are choosing to play uh, for the Call of Dragons. And like so far I'm very very happy uh, about my legions. Uh, there is only one thing which I don't like whenever I'm using my artifacts manually. I'm losing control of my legions, which I, I wish it was not like that. Uh, I always prefer to be in control of my legions. Uh, but yeah, like not everything can be perfect. Maybe in the future we are going to get a, a better artifact um, usable versions. But in general, I think Autocast is a great addition to the game. Uh, I think this guy is tier 5 or not, I'm not sure because he's not receiving that much damage. I guess that's simply because he's using uh, infantry in this fight. But still, I always accept, uh, like, expect to deal more and more damage to tier 5, tier 4 players because we should be in the same, uh, like, strength level. There should not be a big difference. If there is a big difference between tier 4 players, it means you are doing something wrong because uh, in damage meters, uh, there should not be big difference between you and the other tier 4 player. Uh, I will try my best to make this uh, uh, like little skirmish to prolong because I want to showcase uh, how much merit we are going to get out of this fight and I will repeat, I will be only checking the merit section whenever my legions are dead, that's the best way to understand how much damage you are dealing to uh, enemy in general. So far I think I'm doing pretty fine. Um, I'm getting targeted less and less uh, and enemies falling back whenever they see me moving forward. Uh, this time bomb, like I generally whenever I see this time bomb I'm falling back. I don't want to get my alliance members in trouble. Uh, and as you can see we are looking unstoppable. I wish we had more infantry here in order for us to deal, uh, to push more because yeah, like I think infantry is very overrated. Uh, it's an amazing usage in the wars like this. Whenever there is a small choke point, you you have to have some infantry in order to uh, push at least a little bit. Uh, let's see if this guy is watching us. No, I guess he's just AFK sending uh, like builders in order in order to uh, build some more. 
I'm 100% not going to hit this rally. I will be waiting until uh, they will demolish the rally. Now, meanwhile, if there is a chance for me to deal something else besides rally, of course I'm going to do that. Uh, I will save my artifacts, uh, I think, for the uh, grouped fight whenever the rally will be broken. And that's a perfect time, in my opinion. Yep, this artifact's usage was amazing, in my opinion. So, yep, like, uh, Heart of Kamasi is very amazing, in my opinion. It's a great, great artifact, especially if you are running uh, Marksman Legions. You are getting tons of damage in a circle, especially if you have a couple of uh, Marksmen in your build. Currently, I'm running three Marksmen. One of them is, uh, like, Wyverns. Uh, which is a sp special unit of Wilderberg. Finally, we were we got targeted in this fight. Uh, I think we stayed alive for a long time, which is amazing. Uh, like there is nothing bad to fight for a long time, uh, even if you are fighting against the, like same power level players as you. Uh, it's all about positioning. It's all about how you want to play the wars. What's better for you to stay alive or to just go in and uh, refill your legions as a tier four player, free to play player? I don't have that much units, so I always try my best to stay alive as much as possible. Now the most important second report, uh, which I think will be better the first, better than first one. Uh, let's double check how much merits we got out of uh, this fight. Mm, uh, let's compare it. 29 was here, 20, 33, 24, 19. Uh, from the second fights, we are getting uh, 24 here, 15, uh, 22, uh, 24. Well, guys, like, tell me what do you think about my long-range warfare. Uh, tell me... Is this merits amount acceptable? Is it good? Is it bad? Uh, what do you think about my uh, fighting gameplay? And in general, what do you think about season TI or, or seasonal uh, talents in general? Because I'm having a lot of fun uh, as a marksman main. I always wanted to have uh, longer range, like kind of same range as mages. And finally, I'm able to have some fun because... Uh, before it was really really hard for marksmen to do anything in this game this is the second report uh, which i got from the second fight uh, hopefully you are liking it hopefully you are enjoying the fights and hopefully this is a good amount of merits for you uh, the one million merits uh, in this season uh, great achievement uh, for a free to play player this is why I wanted to take this video, because I wanted to showcase how amazing uh, uh, Call of Dragons gameplay, combat gameplay is, and I wanted to showcase how long-range warfare with the Herces 1 is working. Of course, I'm waiting for Suppressive Fire, which will be even better for the long run. I hope you are enjoying the content I'm trying to make. Um, hopefully... You will click like, uh, comment and subscribe because it gives me more and more motivation for me to do more content for you guys. Thanks for watching. In the future we're gonna have way more live streams and way more wars to showcase this amazing game. So far, thanks for watching. I hope you are having amazing day, night or morning depending whenever you, wherever you are. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.